Hi there and welcome to What Yacht To Do. Today we are going to show you how we marked our anchor chain and why we chose paint. What oh, you're seeing there. I guess your feet were dirty. Yeah, well you have to clean off the chain and uh, that's the old <laughs> owner's markings and we went with a different scheme. We're going to show you why we chose paint, uh, how to mark it, and many other things you need to know and consider. Alright, so the first thing you're going to have to do is get that anchor off of the boat onto the dock. And so you're going to have to park your boat so you can access that anchor. And what we did is you can see our anchor there on the front of the boat and wrapped a line around the roll bar. This is a Rockna 25 kilogram, so it weighs about 55 pounds. And then we pay out some of the road, the chain, and from there we have to get that and pull that anchor over onto the dock. From there, we'll pay out all of the chain, little bit by little bit, and we're, we were trying to make sure it didn't drop into the water so it didn't get wet, but it did a little bit. We were gonna have to clean it anyway. So that's the very first step is figuring out a way to safely get that 55, 60 pound anchor off of the boat onto the dock. We've got the anchor off of the boat and you can see the anchor there at the far end of the pier. And then we've laid the chain out. What you see there are the old markings from the previous owner that had just used a yellow scheme on there. So we're going to be ignoring that as we go through there and it contrasts a little bit with the gold that we're going to use. Once I got the chain all laid out, then I went through the washing and cleaning procedure of the chain and letting it dry. And you can do a search online to see how you best clean your particular chain that you have on your boat, what type of metal it is, and go from there. Getting that chain prepped is the first thing and laid out and just I know you're going to ask is how much chain is that is almost 300 feet on the here's to us so our boat is 50 feet long and we have 300 feet of all chain road and road is a term r-o-d-e that is used to say whatever connects your anchor to your boat it could be chain it could be rope it, and it can be a combination of chain or rope why do we choose paint? There are a number of ways to do it. You can buy those little inserts that you can put in between the chain. We were concerned about those because we thought maybe they would ca get caught on the windlass as it's coming in. We looked at Dyneema, which is a very strong uh, line that you can use and tie little knots on it. And I was concerned about that as well. Plus, as you bring your anchor up, if it gets a lot of dirt on it, that Dyneema is also going to absorb the dirt and that's going to go into your locker. locker. So it seemed to us is that the paint would be the best way to do it, and we're glad we did it that way. So the measuring scheme that we used was red, white, blue, gold every 25 feet, and then it would repeat after that so that we would know how much chain was out there when we were anchoring. I would mark the chain every 25 feet and put a little piece of blue painter's tape, and then I'll go one foot fore and after and that is also real easy to see a two foot section of either red white blue or gold coming up so how do we actually do this and it's really important that if you're out there at a marina that you protect the, your boat and other boats out there so you want to do this on a calm day a calm dry day and you will see that is a two foot section of chain there and you can see the painters tape on either side of it and we're going to lay that into a box and because this particular box had some holes in the bottom I used some plastic there that I got from Lowe's and I taped that down because we're going to go over this with a couple different coats of red spray enamel and you're just going to repeat this for each color of the chain that you're going to paint. And you can see we got a little bit smarter here as we kind of lined up our whites so that when we're putting the different coats on there, it would be right next to each other. And now it's a matter of just paint, dry, and repeat three times as we put three coats of paint on our chain for each color. And between your coats of paint, you'll want to twist and move that chain around so that you're getting all sides of it. In this particular one, you can see the original yellow and how that contrasts with our gold marking. So when we're paying out anchor or bringing it in, we're going to ignore that yellow and just go with the gold. 
So by the time we were done, we had red, white, blue, gold, and then started over again with red, white, and blue. And if you do the math, that's 175 feet of marked chain. And for our purposes, we normally anchor in anywhere from 12 to 15 feet of water. But at worst case, on a scope of seven, which you can do an online search about what scope you should have for your particular boat, but anywhere between five to seven usually works. So at the worst case, seven, we would be able to anchor in 25 feet of water under normal conditions. So as you do your online search of what scope to use for your particular boat, you also see the factor of 10 out there. And that's really if you're going to have some really terrible conditions in anchoring. So you would use a scope of 10, so let's say 15 feet, you'd need 150 feet of line, and you see we have enough for that as well. So here it is, we're admiring our work. We let it dry, and uh, in between uh, drying, uh, we also got a little bit of sprinkling of rain, and uh, worked out just fine. From the first mate perspective, I work the windlass, and it's very easy to see the different colors going out it, because they're in two-foot sections. So here is when we anchored in Canada, one of the best anchorages that we ever had. As beginners, it took us a while to get the hang of anchoring, but having the chain marked with the different colors to know how much chain we were paying out was definitely a big help. So we hope this video helps you as you consider how to mark your anchor chain.